2017, the Bloom event raised more than $38,000 to benefit the Boys and Girls Club of the Sioux Empire. This Friday, you'll have the chance to help the organization again. Amy Sumner is with the Boys and Girls Clubs of the Sioux Empire. Kelly Youngbluff is the committee co-chair for the Bloom event. They're going to tell us how this night of fun can support a good cause. Thank you both so much for coming in. Thanks for having us. Amy, let's start with you. For people who may not be familiar with the Boys mm -hmm. and Girls Club of the Sioux Empire, this dates back to 1957. How did this all get started? What is their mission? Sure. Well, our original boys club was started by the Morning Optimist, and um, it was basically to create a safe place for young boys to be after school and in the summer. And then f about 15 years later, our girls club was started. And then in the 1980s, when the emerging need was really affordable child care as well as latchkey kids, we went away from the boys and girls club model because on the national level, they hadn't merged yet. So, um, so then we became Youth Enrichment Services. We provided early childhood, um, preschool, pre-K, and after-school programming. And then in 2010, we were approached by the Boys and Girls Club of America again. And as the largest city in the state, they thought we, uh, again, needed a club. So we rechartered, and we became the Boys and Girls Clubs of the Sioux Empire at that time. And one of the goals is to promote lifelong success to these kids mm -hmm. with education, things like that. So what are some different examples of sure. things that the club does? Sure. Well, under the umbrella of the Boys and Girls Club, we do serve about 1,500 kids a day starting um, at newborns all the way up to age 18. When I am doing our fundraising events, it's really to, to support our Boys and Girls Club, which is our traditional drop-in unit over on Sneeve Avenue. And our goal there is really to provide a safe and enriching environment for um, underserved populations. So the charge to come, or the, the fee for families, is $25 per trimester. For those kids to come, we scholarship about 50% of those kids um, who are coming to the club. and. And um, so we want to provide an environment where we have an education center so kids can really focus on their homework. We do homework help every single day. Um, and then we have a STEM room. We have a future chefs program. We have a garden um, in, as part of our STEM room. And last year, our one quarter acre garden actually produced over 500 pounds of produce. And we're doubling our garden this year. So um, the garden is a great way to teach kids a, about healthy living, healthy lifestyles. Um, we do a lot of workforce development programs. We do. Um, financial fitness. We do programming like um, Smart Girls and Passport to Manhood. So there's just a variety of things that we do to just create um, young leaders in our community. Wow. Basically everything. How yeah. many programs do you offer? Well, um, we have a STEM room, an art room, a um, education center and library, a reading program. We've hired tutors. Um, excuse me, to come in and meet with our kids who are really struggling in school so that um, they can catch up to grade level. We know that the first step to success for our children is to help have them graduate on time. So we want kids who can start in kindergarten, um, can stay through age 18 to leave our program workforce ready, ready to join the military conti or continue their education. We have the opportunity with this underserved population to really change the path and change the direction um, for a lot of children, and that's our goal every day. What a great organization. Kelly, let's get to the Bloom fundraiser now. What all happens, and what is the purpose for this event? Well, it's a fun night, the, actually, on this, this Friday um, out at Grand Falls Casino. It's a way to raise funds for, just like Amy had mentioned, some of these scholarships and the programming at, mm -hmm. at, at the club. Um, you know, we need, need to raise funds to keep these programs mm -hmm. going, to create, have these mentors for these young kids. Um, there's, there's so much that um, raising funds, and Amy's amazing at, at that, um, does for the club. Um, but the event that night, we, it's a fun night out, um, out at Grand Falls Casino. We're excited that Landscape Garden Centers is helping us decorate the event room again this year um, with some flowers and their blooms, make it very bloomy and mm -hmm. springy. Mm -hmm. um, but we've got a great silent auction. Some of the I items here are going to be on the silent auction. We've got a live auction this year. We've got some fun games that kind of play into the casino style um, mm -hmm. at our event. Mm -hmm. um, we've got a wine pole, a photo booth this year, um, food, drinks. Um, it's just a great night to come out and share with friends, all for the benefit of, of these kids. 
Now, is this something that the whole family can do? Is there stuff for kids and adults? It's it's a adult it, event. It's an adult event. Um, there's going to be some of the cl um, club kids and their families out there showcasing some of their projects that they've done. Mm -hmm. um, one of them that we did last year um, that we're debuting the the design this year. But this was a, a design done by Ronnie, one of the the young kids <laughs> at the club, and. It, he was so proud last year. He was out there showcasing um, his T-shirt and his design. And so these will be out there to sell again this year. This one was from last year, but mm -hmm. again, we're going to debut the, mm -hmm. the T-shirt for this year on Friday night. And now is there a couple different um, art pieces being auctioned? Are they local okay. artists? Mm -hmm. This um, piece is going to be on the silent auction. It's by Christy Schwabach of Christy Schwabach Fine Arts, and she's out of Brandon. And um, she's also bringing another fabulous piece that will be, um, she's one of our featured artists, as well as Mark Anderson. Um, Elise Myers out of Brandon is also um, our child artist that's being featured. And then we have some art by our kids. Um, we're doing cupcakes and canvas today at the club. And so um, just like last year, our kids will be able to showcase the great work that they've done. They're very proud when they get to come to the children's table and explain their art. And um, I have one little sweetie who always reminds me when I'm coming over and doing tours that her art piece went for $75. And so she was really <laughs> wow, proud to be yeah. able to give back to the club with her talent. And Kelly, real quick, we have about 30 seconds left. How does this Bloom fundraiser help make a difference in kids' lives? It the funds raised at this event and all events that the Boys and Girls Club do go right back to, to the kids. It helps the, um, boost up the programs, um, provide scholarships for um, some kids that may need help. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just a, it's a great night out to benefit the kids. All right, we have a graphic up of the event details. So it's this Friday, starting at 7 p.m., Grand Falls Casino Resort, and it benefits the Boys and Girls Clubs of Sioux Empire, and there is a link to their website if you want to go check it out. Thank you both so much yeah. for coming in today. Thanks Thank for you. having us.